Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to address a question that is buzzing across the IT industry. Is DevOps still relevant in 2025? So with the rise of AI automation and new practices like GitOps, MLOps and platform engineering, has DevOps hit the plateau or is it really transforming to meet the future of IT demands? Stick around to find out as we analyze the current state, uh, future trends and also uh, real world examples. You definitely don't want to miss this. Once again, before I start off with the session, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now, before we jump into the future, let's quickly revisit what DevOps is all about. So DevOps is uh, really, it helps us to bridge the gap between the development team and the operations team by promoting collaboration, automation, and continuous delivery. So this has been the core of modern software de delivery for over a decade now. And when we talk about the key components of DevOps, it includes your CI-CD pipelines, which is mainly used for uh, faster and reliable software releases. Then we have infrastructure as code, which can be used to create your infrastructure using code and create very consistent environments. And then we have monitoring and feedback loops, which can be used to optimize your overall performance. Now, did you know the term DevOps was coined in 2009? Yep, so it's been 15 years since uh, DevOps uh, is there in the IT industry and we have been using this to uh, basically automate our and basically improve the software del delivery process. But here's the bigger question. Is DevOps still driving innovation or are other methodologies taking over? Now, to answer this question, let's look at some of the emerging trends and their impact on DevOps. So, the IT landscape has evolved rapidly, including introducing practices that complement or even overlap with DevOps. So let's look at some of the key trends that are shaping the future. So first we have the AI and automation uh, in your DevOps. So AI is revolutionizing DevOps with intelligent automation, uh, predictive analytics, and self-healing systems. For example, AI driven anomaly detection tools are helpful are helping operations team to prevent incidents even before they happen. Then we have GitOps. Now GitOps which uses Git as the single source of truth for your deployment and infrastructure management specifically with your Kubernetes based environments. And then we have MLOps and ALOps. So MLOps is your machine learning operations, which is essential for AI or ML model lifecycle management. And uh, we have your AI ops, which helps to monitor very complex systems um, using artificial intelligence. And then finally, we have the platform engineering. So platform teams are now building internal developer platforms. Uh, which is to abstract the complexity for the developers. And this enables uh, self-service capabilities and also streamlining the overall developer experience. Now, the key point to know here is that these practices does not really replace DevOps, but it actually helps to expand the scope of DevOps. So how is your DevOps still relevant despite these new trends? Uh, DevOps remains the backbone of modern software delivery. Now, why you ask? It is simply because of the core principles of your DevOps, which is your collaboration, automation, and agility. So these are still critical in today's fast-paced IT environments. Now, let's look at some of the use cases for this. So the first use case we have is Netflix. Now. We know that Netflix is a very big company which provides you with streaming services. So Netflix's success is in delivering uh, seamless streaming services. And this is rooted in its DevOps culture of automation and continuous delivery. So 
uh, Netflix in the back end it utilizes DevOps to basically deliver a very seamless streaming services. The second use case we have is AWS, which is your Amazon Web Services. So AWS heavily relies on DevOps for basically uh, you know introducing, deploying, and managing its vast cloud services and uh, all this is provided with unparalleled speed and reliability all thanks to devops now these companies prove that devops isn't just relevant it is evolving alongside the emerging practices now let's look at some of the challenges for your devops so devops is not without its challenges so there are a few hurdles organizations face as they try to scale their devops practices so the first one we have is the security concerns. So with DevSecOps, security is now integrated into a DevOps pipeline, but balancing the speed and security still remains a challenge. So DevOps is all about speeding up the process of your delivery and uh, security is a huge concern. So balancing the speed and security still remains the challenge. Then we have the scaling of your microservices. So managing hundreds of microservices especially in a kubernetes based environment can be very overwhelming even for the most robust devops pipelines and the last one we have is your talent gap so there is a growing need for skilled uh, devops engineers who can navigate complex environments and also adapt to any new tools that are being introduced in the market so is devops still relevant in 2025 the answer is a resounding yes, yes, yes. While new trends like GitOps, MLOps, and platform engineering are making waves, they're not really replacing DevOps. They are enhancing DevOps. Uh, DevOps continues to evolve, adapt, and integrate with these practices, proving its enduring relevance. What do you think about the future of DevOps? Are you already exploring GitOps or MLOps in your organization? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel for more tech insights and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.